I'm here with Oren today and we're going to be talking about spindles that are driven by cooling. So how do these spindles work? Basically the source of energy is emulsion or oil and they are going through a turbine that rotate the shaft and the shaft is rotating the tool and we are getting this energy into the cutting edge. Okay and this is a a premium machine tool, a very good machine tool with a 15,000 RPM spindle, I believe. But what, what, you know, what speed is that spindle doing, yours? So, first of all, this is a good platform, it's a good uh, high-speed spindle, but high-speed spindles are sensitive and very expensive. And sometimes you would like to protect them, you would like to get a better result related to the runout, as an example. So, over here, this product is um, getting a very good runout sometimes two microns a level and this is something that it's not so easy to achieve with the original spindle it's on, not only speed but also good run out and many times i've seen demos before in aluminium but this material isn't aluminium exactly we are doing on live real live uh, activations and those examples are the real life hard material is very hard you are facing problem of wear and the, the material is trying to slow your process and we are really managing with this high cutting speed to overcome that a good strategy and the customers that really face the problems can see hard material 48 what we'll see that can be machined in such a speed and this is really a very good example that they can unify in their systems so performance and quality quality of the cut also the wear of the, the tools and also the ability to predict what will happen on the surface finish. Now, because we are providing high speed, the customers can use a very uh, condensed uh, program that is having a small uh, movement between the, the, the moves. And because of that, you have a very good surface finish that the customer is enjoying that. I know it's application specific, but what can we expect as a saving? 15,000 machine, spindle and your 40, 50, 60,000 RPM spindle. If we, how does that transfer to a saving cycle time? So over here we have a good example on the metal and also on aluminium. We are predicting that uh, when we will do the original usage of the spindle, we will reach, let's say one hour, and we can reduce it by 30% that it's very economical for the customer and the tool will last longer for that. If you've got a, a machine that's maybe 8,000, a high torque spindle rather than a high speed spindle, presumably that saving is even greater. Exactly. So as the machine conditions or platform is different and lower, the improvements are higher. But it also depends on the application that you are doing. But we are serving tools and application from 6 and lower. And the big spindles are doing a very good job on the big uh, dimensions. And I know these are relatively small investments, aren't they? It's not you know, machine tool spindles, maybe 15, 20, 30,000 pounds. Yours is a fraction of that. Yeah, it is a fraction. And usually we see customers that are investing, as an example over here in this uh, northern location, they invested in four to six units. And the overcome or the ROI that they are managing to cover, it's about five to six months, which is a very short ROI uh, segment. So there we have it. If we're looking to get product off the machine quicker, increase tool life, and basically be more productive, get in touch with these guys. MTD 